नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन येस्टरडे वी रेज द अलार्म बेल्स एंड सेड डू वी नीड टू रिकैलिब्रेट our strategy vis-a-vis -vis afghanistan because the kabul bomber has now been appointed by the as the kabul governor clearly the pakistan had an influence in trying to control the taliban and also orchestrate its reign of uh, its reign of terror very evident with sirajuddin haqqani as the interior minister and kari baryal as the kabul governor but now this is much more diabolical a known radical terror backer who was operating out of POJK and he had been parked there has now been carted off and sent across as the park envoy to the United States now let me just jog your memory recently after the fiasco that Imran Khan did not even get a meeting with US president Joe Biden and the letter that we put out here on the right stand of Shah Mahmood Qureshi being upset at the fact that the Pak envoy to the US was unable to pitch and position Pakistan as it was expected this shift clearly shows that Pakistan's thrust with the help of the Taliban is going to be to further foment trouble in Pak occupied Jammu and Kashmir and also the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir their focus their intent is clear they will try and create and help forth push forth more radicals and more terror terrorists and terror backers terror sympathizers across multiple fields not just not just the not just the infiltration the terrorists the arms and the drugs as being said on ground but also at various positions of establishment to try and create recreate this entire kashmir lobby that's what they try to call it but their intent is nefarious and what are we going to be doing about it is a question that arises now here is the exclusive here is the input that's come through our uh, investigations editor manoj gupta and have a look at this this is a cnn news 18 exclusive islamabad's man in washington dc is actually a terror champion in masood khan masood khan is a close associate of some of the world's biggest terror faces ladies and gentlemen he he openly backs us designated terrorists this is who masood khan is pakistan is now pushing its terror agenda in the united states this is who pakistan is trying to highlight he points at a pak regime now openly backing anti india islamists also here is another aspect it's hand picking of a known radicalist a terror backer which is a message this message this is how the indian government is looking at it and also sources within uh, the india's india's power our power corridors are looking at this entire issue this is a huge concern it is pushing pakistan's islamist driven anti india policies in the united states third point it's a bit to further fuel stoke influence islamism in the united states the man who headed and occupied territory pojk this is the message openly backed jihadi groups killings in jammu and kashmir this is the person who's now being propped up as the pak envoy or islamabad's man in the united states so intelligence sources very clearly saying this is a cause for concern and india is not going to take this lying down but what are we going to do about it and what does this mean what does this indicate is this now openly a terror state should pakistan be rechristened officially terroristan because on both sides all they are doing and across the world all they are doing is pushing for radicals fundamentalists let's dive into the debate straight away and say hello to our guest this evening pak terror envoy is the hashtag who about it tweet about it ambassador parthasarthi is with us lieutenant general kg singh is with us and uh, amjad ayub mirza is with us and we also have kamar chima joining us namaste to everyone thank you very much but ambassador parthasarthi i'd like to begin with you how would you read this this is dangerous terrorists on one side in <laughs> afghanistan being planted and now a terror backer a radical being sent across to the united states 
you know, you'll have to understand the background of uh, Masood mm. Khan. Mm. He was born in Rawalkot in Pakistan occupied Kashmir mm. from a Sudan Pathan family. Yeah. Now he's been uh, the, he's got the best posts going always Washington UN Washington UN mm. and generally from what we learned earlier on mm. he had the backing of the army. Mm. And that's what led him to be the uh, yeah. governor of Pak occupied Kashmir. Mm. And therefore what he will do and this the american should be kept off way of this first mm. he will claim he is kashmiri he is not a kashmiri he is a patan mm. secondly he has this long connection with the army and with radical groups more so mm. when he held the position of uh, of the governor mm. so uh, this has to be a concerted dif- diplomatic effort as far as i am concerned mm. with the americans and with every section of american society no doubt they know Hmm. but it needs to be emphasized to every member of congress hmm. and i'm sure given uh, we've got a very efficient and uh, hmm. capable ambassador hmm. in don singh in hmm. uh, in uh, the us i'm sure he hmm. and his colleagues will do the needful hmm. and i'm sure pretty well everyone's aware of this hmm. and yes we are letting this be known hmm. because though pakistanis think they can pull wool over the eyes of everyone right and now we have a huge reach in washington hmm. and this guy has to be exposed for that his credibility is as was smashed particularly with members of the us congress mm. so i have no doubt that mm. the way, that's the way he'll be handled mm. and it like it will certainly affect his credibility there he mm. calls himself a kashmiri for god's sake he's a patan mm. correct but but that's the misnomer people so, don't understand that there are there are those there who don't even know the difference between india and pakistan no, no, no. or 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 the difference between singapore and hong kong in in the united states and even in the power corridors uh, master parts uh, i i, I, I uh, can assure you yeah uh, that uh, uh, con- Hmm. Yeah, go hmm. ahead. Yeah, please complete. So, so a Masood yeah, Pathan is not uh, is not actually a Kashmiri. Is something which they they will not uh, they will not even understand. The embassy in Washington, and I have done that job several years ago, mm. Mm. knows every congressman's office. Mm. It knows every senator's office. Mm. You can rest assured mm. there will be no failure on our part mm. in giving them simplistic and uh, explanations which we are used to doing with the Americans, which mm. they understand. Mm. So and really there is uh, uh, given the way as I said as a uh, regard mm. for the ambassador and okay. really uh, I am I am convinced that this guy will expose mm. himself mm. I say people better than him mm. uh, have mm. not succeeded exactly mm. so mm. yeah I think we can manage him but yes it again. has to be a concerted <laughs> effort uh, before he even gets there mm. Mm. well uh, uh, before i go across to our other guests i just want to quickly put out some of the aspects that uh, ambassador partha partha sarthi touched upon why this uh, he, uh, who this person is and what the background of masood khan is masood khan has been a votary for terror groups he's actually come out in full support of the hizbul mujahideen he has also termed us sanctions against sayed salauddin as unjustified this is his political position and stated position ladies and gentlemen he shared the stage with fazlur rahman khalil of the harkatul mujahid and the harkatul mujahideen he's personally shared the shared the stage he's allowed uh, the territory under his jurisdiction for the terror congla- conglomeration of 300 jihadi groups coming together in in mirpur muzaffarabad he's allowed for that also openly praises Uh, HHRD that partnered with the Lashkar-e-Taiba. So this is the person who has now been voted as the or nominated as Islamabad's man in Rawalpindi. He is also somebody who has looked at violence or justified this jihad for terrorism. This is what it is. He gave special message on Burhan Wani's martyrdom. anniversary or that's what he called it fifth martyrdom anniversary this was the time when he was neutralized this terrorist buran wani termed wani role model of freedom fighters this is the language that he speaks he said wani symbolized the defeat of india this is the person who is now going to stand there as 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 the 
Islamabad's envoy or Pakistan's envoy to the United States. Lieutenant General K.J. Singh, this is openly backing radicals who have an agenda against the country and this is going to create a huge amount of diplomatic issues for us too. How do we handle this? Because there is a Ghulam Fai who is already active. There is a lobby which is already active and engaging with US Congress members. And this man goes there. So then this slot gets hyperactive. Uh, Anand, uh, firstly, let me compliment your channel because uh, yesterday also you ran a good debate and mm. today also you tried to highlight the mainstreaming of these uh, terrorists and extremists by Pakistan. Mm. The fact that you appointed Kari Baryal as the governor of Kabul and now you have a known terror hmm. backer hmm. who's masquerading as a Kashmiri. Actually, he's a Pathan, like what Ambassador Partha Sarthi said. Hmm. And he's a man for all seasons. Hmm. He's been an ambassador in China. He's been in the UN headquarters at Geneva in New York. He headed the Institute of Strategic Studies. And normally, when you've been a governor of a state, hmm. you do not go on an ambassadorial assignment. So he is a, a, a kind of a fixer who's available to the army to take on these kind of assignments. But what Anand I am very worried about is mm. that under Shah Mohammad Qureshi, Pakistan foreign policy is lurching from one blunder to another. You pointed out about that letter. Yeah. Now this is a major, major blunder Pakistan is playing with. See, they are in effect mainstreaming uh, these people who have been on the margins, like uh, recent uh, uh, truce they had with TYLP, yeah. the negotiations they did with TTP mm. and Kari Baryan, and now this. Mm. Uh, this all is being seen in America, like Ambassador Patsarthi says, we have enough number of people who are there to... Mm. Uh, uh, I, I, I'll use this term, lobby. Why not lobby for us? Hmm. They should bring it to knowledge of all congressmen and US must put its foot down or at least tell Pakistan that this is not going to work. Hmm. If you're going to uh, mainstream uh, the end, it'll have problem for Pakistan also. Hmm. See, this uh, mainstreaming of TYLP is going to bounce back on them. Hmm. So, the... Uh, it's, it's one blunder after another. That's all I can say. And uh, I hope our, I'm sure our diplomatic corps is uh, very resilient, is very dynamic. Hmm. They are up to it. And more channels like uh, should follow your example and hmm. take it up. It's our, it's our, it's our hmm. bounden duty to educate people about this person who has hmm. helped LET and that uh, Jamaatul Dawa and Falai and Safi Foundation, hmm. all the variants of that to uh, do so much of mischief in uh, no, this uh, is, POJK. This is, this is a person under whose ages, Ambassador Partha Sarthi, this entire conglomeration of jihadi outfits has happened in Mirpur, Muzaffarabad. We have those pictures when Hafiz Saeed, uh, Zakir Rahman, Lakhvi, then uh, Raw Fazgar, all of these people were present. And it was he was he was there at, at that time the uh, premier of POJK. This is what happened. I'm coming to you, Mr. Mirza, in just a bit, Ambassador Parsa Sarthi. And diplomatically, well, well, also, this is a big challenge. No, let, let's let's face it. You got another problem of this Hakani network in yeah. Afghanistan. That is going to augment it. It is an arm of the ISI. Hmm. So you're going to there is there are links they they, they, have, they have, these, these sort of people have had with the Taliban. Mm. And uh, certainly, we know of uh, these terror groups getting augmented in in Afghanistan <clears throat> territory. Mm. So they've got what they call a strategic depth. But uh, listen, the Americans know about this. Mm. Uh, they have known. They would have sized this man up pretty long time ago. Mm. But yes, there are two. There are there there are people in America, in Washington who are difficult to persuade. Yeah. And I am sure, given the fact that you've got a bright ambassador in young Taranjit Singh there, hmm. uh, we will we, 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 we'll manage. I think we'll, we can do a good job and I'm sure we will. But what does this mean for this entire region and what does this mean for what is going to be hacked, what is going to happen? See, there are certain things which are also a cause for concern that in a recent bust in Jammu and Kashmir, there were US maps which were seen. 
there were maps of the United States in certain territories marked which were seen. There is also the growing amount of uh, atrocities and activity, increasing build-up of activity which is happening in POJK. Amjad Ayub Mirza, Masood Khan, a Pathan. Can you hear me, Amjad Ayub Mirza? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah. yeah. How would you see this development and what should be done? Shouldn't this man be exposed and shouldn't this man be rejected? Well, first of all, uh, you know, uh, he is not the only one who is a terrorist sympathizer and terrorist facilitator. Remember in uh, August and slash September when the Taliban took over Kabul and about six to 8,000 yeah. of Lashkar and his and other organization terrorists returned, they straight headed for uh, POJK and he was president and he facilitated them over there. Mm. I mean, so uh, he, his role in uh, facilitating uh, terrorism in uh, Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir is, is, is not, should not come as a surprise. Mm. The question is the Pakistan army chief is a mm. terrorist sponsor, the prime minister is a terrorist uh, sympathizer, Pakistan's foreign minister is a terrorist Taliban sympathizer. 99% of Pakistan parliament hmm. is filled with members who are sympathizers hmm. of terrorism in Kashmir. Hmm. So it should not come as a surprise that uh, Masood Khan has been appointed as ambassador hmm. to uh, America by Pakistan because he is a Pakistani stooge. He was hmm. born in Ravla court in Punch. He belongs to a Sudan family, hmm. a Sudan tribe. and. Uh, he uh, comes from the Khan uh, uh, ethnic, ethnicity of the Sudan tribe. Mm. But the question is, how can America allow such a person who has got so much uh, links, so many links, mm. not only with the uh, Ghulam Nabi Fai, mm. who is a designated terrorist in my yeah. books, yeah. but also with uh, terrorist groups inside uh, Pakistani Jammu Kashmir, Hmm. How can America allow him to represent Pakistan in their country? He is not going there to represent Pakistan. He is going there to help the network of terrorists in Afghanistan to reorganize and rejuvenize them. Hmm. And then uh, their link with, uh, with Turkey and Ghulam Fai is getting money hmm. via Turkey. And that will now be used against uh, India. Uh, by holding hmm. seminars and holding protests. This guy, uh, it, it should, it should, the world community should take a notice of this. Hmm. FATF people should take a notice of this. Hmm. And above all, Indian Foreign Ministry, I was, I am expecting right. a strong statement from the Indian Foreign Ministry uh, about this appointment. This appointment has no standing other than his qualification is that he's a Pakistani stooge. He's a wherever Pakistan needs him, they send him. They made him a third secretary in Beijing. Hmm. They send him to United Nations. They made him the president of POJK, and now his assignment is to go and uh, uh, and galvanize anti-Indian sentiments. Hmm. Uh, in the U.S. Congress, well, that, that, and, uh, that, that, from a, from Pakistan's point of view, he seems he seems to be the most effective man. But the purpose is nefarious. The purpose is not to try and uh, you know uh, put up the cause or stack the cause of Pakistan as a country. The the overall intent, Kamar Chima, the issue is not to prop up Pakistan. The issue is to go ahead and destabilize the neighboring country. See, you, you've got a priority is all warped as a nation. You're not talking about projecting Pakistan. You're trying to say, how do I, how do I ensure that we sabotage India? Well, I think, uh, I think uh, I have a reservation on his appointment, and that is that uh, Pakistan must have appointed a young diplomat. That is the only reservation I have. Other than that, he has been a career diplomat. Why you fear from this old man? 
He is going to the United States as a Pakistani ambassador. He will serve Pakistan's interests. Why do you fear from him? What is your perspective? Why Sir, do you? We why are, are you so much scared? All these you're generals, using the wrong adjectives the general, again. Just like I said, you're using so you're using the you're using the wrong. The entire CNN news team is scary uh, no, from this Pakistani Kamar Chima, ambassador Kamar Chima. being pointed to the US. Kamar Chima. At least grow up. You are a country. Why do you fear from a career retired diplomat? He was a retired person. He has served as a president. Being appointed Kamar again, Shima. what is the point of concern in New Kamar Delhi? Shima, every time you appointed Prime Minister Modi, Kamar who was murderer in New Delhi. Kamar Chima. You appointed Prime Minister Ka Modi. Prime Minister I'll tell you what. Kamar Chima, I'll tell you what. Kamar Chima, I'll tell you what. Kamar Chima, Kamar Chima. There is, there is, there is. Every time, every time you come here on my show, sir. Every time you come to the debate, sir. I just hope again, hope that at least once you get it right, you are either out of syllabus or you. Prove me right every time when I say कि आपका funda goal है. My point is sir, you chose the wrong adjective. You you chose the wrong adjective. You wrote you chose the wrong adjective. The issue is not that the issue is that we are concerned. We are concerned. You are we are concerned that those sitting and thinking, talking about taking the cause and and representing the democratic republic of Pakistan, they are they are so radical. They are so radical and they are so fundamental that all that they are pushing is further more radicalism. If you start propping up radicals, it's a cause for concern, sir. It's a cause for concern. It's a cause for concern. Sir, it's a cause for concern. Kamar Chima. Kamar Chima. Kamar Chima. देखे अमजद अयुब मिर्जा अमजद अमजद अयुब मिर्जा एंड एंड कमर चीमा अमजद अयुब मिर्जा एंड कमर चीमा ये बिचारा रॉ का एजेंट क्या बताएगा आपको इस बिचारे को क्या पता है कभी ये पाकिस्तान में चले जा लेता है देखिए आप है ना आई टेल यू वॉट डू यू हैव वन नया पैसा वन नया पैसा नॉट दैट इट हैज गॉट वन पाकिस्तानी नया पैसा ऑफ प्रूफ पाकिस्तानी है उसकी कोई वर्थ भी नहीं है पाकिस्तानी रुपया खड्डे में जा रहा है बट माई पॉइंट इज कमर चीमा द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज दो चीजें आज एकदम देर इज दिस इज अ फैक्ट टू टू थिंग्स आर अ फैक्ट कमर चीमा एक सर की दुनिया गोल है दूसरा सर आपका फंड भी गोल है दीज आर टू थिंग्स विच आर अ फैक्ट एंड यूर प्रोवन इट सर because the issue is not the issue is not about somebody being scared scared the issue is about concern the issue is sir the issue is sir that the agenda is not about propping up pakistan the agenda is to sabotage india and if your agenda is to sabotage my country sir then my agenda is going to be to dethrone you to sabotage you and to clean you up that's going to be my agenda if you dare try and sabotage my country that is what i am trying to tell you ye funda puri tarah se clear है लेकिन आपका गोल है नाउ दिस इज व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से एम्बेसिडर पार्थ सारथी देर इज नो पॉइंट 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 एवरी टाइम सर आई जस्ट होप अगेंस्ट होप कि कभी वो सुबह कभी तो आएगी जब यहां से कुछ ज्ञान आएगा बट यहां पे सर दिस इज दट कहावत विच इज ऑलवेज विच इज ऑलवेज विच इज ऑलवेज कॉड इरा डेमोन्स्ट्रेंडम कि भैंस के आगे बीन बजाओगे तो भैंस वैसी ही खड़ी रहेगी वो डांस कभी नहीं करेगी चाहे आप जितना बीन बजा लो बट लेट मी कम अक्रॉस टू एम्बेसिडर पार्थ सारथी ना अरे चुप हो जाओ सर क्या शोर मचा रहे हो सिर्फ रुक जाइए लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू सर दिस इज concern the concern is the concern is the concern is ambassador parth sarthi that the agenda for this nation which is born out of us after india was torn about and partitioned their history and their their existence is only of about 675 years this nation today is not talking and worried about itself they are not talking about an agenda which will set up or prop up pakistan they are looking at an agenda that will sabotage india See, all this is happening. Don't forget. I mean, symbolically, what my young friend from Pakistan is saying: this is the 50th anniversary of the liberation of Bangladesh. Hmm. Pakistan has a capacity to undermine itself. Hmm. 
Now here, in their relationship with the U.S., they should realize one thing. In Washington, they are not, no longer blue-eyed boys who were a part of CENTO. Hmm. They are looked at as a terrorist state. Hmm. And after their role in getting the Taliban to, uh, to sort of get to rule in Afghanistan, the Americans are not fools. They're going to mull over this hmm. and deal with it. Hmm. And, and any uh, sort of misdoings there by their ambassador, Hmm. Please believe me, the CIA has a very, very, and the hmm. uh, FBI have very good investigative processes. Hmm. Hmm. So I, there, his thing, our, our Washington, does not worry me. But the fact is, hmm. it exposes hmm. the intention of Imran Khan and the ISI. Hmm. This man was, appo uh, was appointed as governor hmm. in Nawaz Sharif's time hmm. by Nawaz, hmm. which meant Nawaz acted under uh, the pressure of the army, army. because yeah. that's that's the way the system functions. The ar army has a pretty distinct say in the diplomatic establishment. Mm. So this man is a representative of the army. Mm. Let's be very clear, mm. which in turn is now trying to eye put a place its eyes and attention on Jammu and Kashmir mm. as the summer approaches. At a time when, with the, uh, Sirajuddin Haqqani in Afghanistan, mm. has a long association with both the Jaish e Mohammed and the Lashkar e Taiba, who at yeah. one time had camps there. Yeah. So I think they still do. Sir. They still the do. They are actually increasing in Nangarhar camp. region. They are actually yeah, increasing yeah, the area where yeah, these absolutely. terrorist camps will be. Absolutely. Because Sirajuddin Haqqani right now is their interior minister. Yeah. So therefore, let us be prepared for this. Hmm. But we are not sleeping over it. Secondly, please believe me that there are strong lobbies in America. Hmm. Both, and it's bipartisan, both Republican and Democratic, hmm. which will not uh, uh, sort of allow Pakistan to get no, more terrorism because all these groups emanate from our I, I, I totally agree but this is there. something which has to be also highlighted this is the important that aspect we, that, is, yeah. that, that you leave it uh, to yeah. our embassy true and no, embassy no, no not just that sir general kj singh the idea is that every nation looks to further its cause but here final word from you the bigger concern is this is like somebody is sinking. Doob gai, pura hi doob gai. Bas itla bacha hai ki bas akhri saas bachi hai. Or uske baad bhi the obsession is ki wo dooba ki nahi. Uski kya halat hai. That's how this nation is. They, this this sabotage India agenda and not about, about the people of Pakistan or propping up Pakistan is an issue. Then if they are not worried about themselves as a nation, then why have a Pakistan? Four subhe hai, wo four subho mein do Bharat mein aajayenge, ek Afghanistan mein chala jayega aur jo tisra hai, wo Chin ke paas chala jayega. That is how it is going to be distributed. We don't need an we don't need an agenda. We don't need a nation with an agenda that is to sabotage other nations. Anand, Anand, General Pakistan is Pakistan is working in that direction on its own. The fact that within Pakistan there is a huge big disquiet on the negotiations with the Tariq -e Taliban Pakistan. Hmm. The pr Prime Minister was summoned to Supreme Court. Hmm. The negotiations and the show, uh, sort of climb down. They have done with TYLP. Jee. These are all very dangerous signs. Within Pakistan today, everything is in a flux. One doesn't know whether army is in full control or Imran Khan is doing some rear guard action. Nawaz Sharif is believed to be yeah. going to be invited back. So in this in this maelstrom of Pakistan, one really doesn't know which way they are going to go. Hmm. And see the sense of timing. It is so wrong. Hmm. This is the time to take relief to Afghanistan, to build on the ceasefire on LOC. Hmm. Kartarpur corridor has been opened. Hmm. So, so this was the time for the region to look at cooperating with each other, hmm. allow India to export wheat on the overland right. transit route. This is not the time to play with fire. But right. unfortunately, Pakistan is in a self-destruct mode. Right. Uh, who can but stop? Point is, they say that some children who are in the mouth of the mother 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 
अब हो गया इसका स्टैंड अप ऑन द बेंच और पनिशमेंट करके इसको ठीक करने का टाइम आ गया दैट इज वॉट यू नो वी हैव टू रियली थिंक अबाउट इट इन दैट वे बिकॉज दिस ये सुधरने का नाम ही नहीं ले रहे हैं सो इफ देर नॉट एंड इफ देर एजेंडा इफ अ नेशन एजेंडा इज हाउ टू सेबोटाज अनदर एजेंडा दैट्स योर ओनली एजेंडा देन यू डोंट डिजर्व टू बी एग्जिस्टिंग एज ए नेशन then you don't have a nation entity at all because you can't have an agenda which says i only want to sabotage this country and that's my only agenda that cannot be then you are not a nation because you're not thinking about yourself your people and, and your 75 year old history so ho gaya sir 75 years hi inka life span hai boodhe ho gaye inka nahi ho sakta ye nahi ho sakte phir theek hai then we we'll have to to look at some other option, but we can't afford to have terror backers being propped up like this, and the world thinks that they can, you know, and they think that the world will allow them to let them get away. I have to, I have run out of time. I thank all our panelists. We're going to wind up debate number one on that now, uh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, it's all very cryptic. This cryptocurrency, can you regulate something which you cannot track, track, which we do not understand? How is it that more than a crore people are involved? from our country 6.6 billion is stuck in what is virtually now becoming a parallel economy stay with us